Welcome to this reflection for Monday the 30th of March. Over the last couple of weeks um, where we've been holding services, we've distributed to parishioners cards bearing a verse that says, Do not be afraid, for I am with you. That's Isaiah 41, verse 10. And we've invited people to put that in letterboxes of those who live near us in our neighbourhoods. And we wanted to do this because we know we're wrestling with our own fear and in the wake of so many job losses and economic uncertainty, the risk of contracting coronavirus, fear is at an all-time high in our wider society and world. And in the midst of all of this, followers of Jesus have a powerful message to share. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Perhaps more than ever before, the beautiful words of Psalm 23 speak to us. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for your rod and your staff comfort me. Time and again, the scriptures reassure us of God's presence right alongside us, closer than our own breath, continuing to guide and direct, even when what we're going through is terrifying and possibly even life-threatening. Time and again, God's messengers speak to God's people saying, Do not fear, do not be afraid. Why then are we afraid? Well, fear is one of the basic instinctive human and creaturely responses to stressful and unsettling situations of rapid change. Nevertheless, we believe in a God who holds us close, a God who won't leave the lost sheep caught in the thicket, but who will cross hills and valleys in a storm to rescue the lost and the least, and then rejoice in the finding of that one. We believe in a God who hasn't abandoned this world to its fate, but who comes close to us in so many ways, in the kindness of a stranger, in the beauty of a Melbourne autumn day, in the intricacy of a flower, in the quiet sense that we are not alone. We're called to put our faith in this God who is always with us and to let go of our fear. We're called to do this for our own good, but even more so for the well-being of those around us. Because when we can put aside fear and live in loving faith and trust in God, we don't need to worry unduly about the future. And in a society that's mad with fear, that's a powerful statement, a powerful witness to God's goodness. Because faith is also life-giving, where fear leads to death and despair. So in these days, cling to the promise of Scripture. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Chew over it, cling to it. When you feel fear, recite it like a mantra and say, God, I trust in you, hold me now. May God bless you with the sense of God's loving presence and may you know the peace that passes all understanding this day and every day.